Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another whirlwind adventure here with Sparrow. <laughs> now, as you saw last week, we made it to level 11. Granted, we had XP set to 2.0, but that, you know, that's not the point. The point is, we did really bloody well. And so, we're going to get up and we're going to get going. Last I remember, we had these uh, linen scraps that we were going to take care of from the main bit. We have our wolf friend who still does not have a name, but that's okay. I may be able to change it a little later on. So we had the Stone of Remembrance here and some rogue wizards who we can quite easily send our wolf in to go and fuck up and then poison. The wolf will take a majority of it, and he'll come back a little bit chilly, but that's okay. These guys have scrolls of protection and linen cloth, so... Nice and easy like we should be able to start on the next one. spawn quite quickly because we need six and we've only got two so far what was that oh Dynassian blue I swear I saw something Dynassian alright let's read the stone of remembrance this monument is dedicated to all those who have fallen in the protection of Stormwind our people have weathered unbelievable hardships to retain their freedoms and to control their own destinies. It is here we remember every sacrifice our citizens have made during the first war that riddled our people. Rightly so. So there's a couple of wizards around there protecting the stone. There is the corpse of a man. A dwarf in this case. Uh... Just chilling on the side here. How interesting. Uh, not seeing anybody else here. I mean, there's some copper. Let's do some quick laps and see if we can find anybody else, because we've only got three scraps out of six. We're going to need some more. Oh, that's a flower. And that's a squirrel. a distinct impression there should be more people here but uh, we uh, we can't see them ah the wizards are back see now I'm feeling overpowered again I do like this feeling <laughs> boom four out of six Braces, that sounds familiar. Uh, 22, uh, Frontier, that's what we've got. Okay, so there's 51, so they're still good. Uh, Linen Scrap, 5 out of 6. One more like that. There we go. Lovely. perfected the art of sneezing quietly, which would be to very um, press the uh, roof of my, uh, sorry, press the, my tongue to the roof of my mouth, and then hold my nose as I sneeze, nothing comes out, but you still get the sneeze out. Apparently, that is not the right thing to do. So long as it doesn't make a uh, 
a very loud sound. I think we're alright. So we're going to get this collector guy. Who's all the way down here in a place we've not yet discovered. A farm of boar and bear. The Brackwell pumpkin patch should pop up now. Oh, how's about that for timing? Oh, bandits. around the remembrance thing. I imagine the guy's in here, so let's do a sneaky snoot. The router is also here. Oh my god, he just walked in. Okay. Well, there's one. We're gonna do a lot of steady shot as the wolf takes the bait. Oh, shite. Should be fine. There's the collector's ring. We've got some patchwork shoes. Could we do? Oh god. Okay, so we need to make space for three things. Uh, the bear meat we don't need. We'll take that. Oh no, we've got to do this quickly. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We don't need the pumpkins. We're in a pumpkin patch. Uh, we don't need that. Wait, where's the rest of it? Oh shit. That's got us to level 12, which we have aspect of the hawk. Here, Hunter takes on the aspect of the hawk, increasing range and attack power by 35%. Hell yes. We'll do that. Now, we've got to go and get Snoop the Ruler. Frayed robe. I'm afraid not. a lot easier than I thought it would be. He didn't drop anything. That's a shame. Then again, what would you drop? It's a cool looking ball though. Cool. That's everything. So, what we'll do is we'll make our way back here and we will hand in all of our stuff. Uh, I've been having a look as well passively for what kind of pets we should be going for. something that I've used in the past is something called Petopia which uh, does pretty much everything and the cool thing about Petopia is you can go buy pretty much anything and I can do it by game version as well which makes it slightly easier for me you can also go buy families, I guess. Families for me would have been like, okay, what uh, what do you want, basically? And then you go for the coolest ones. For me, it was spirit animals. That's exactly why I've chosen beast pets. Sarah, here's your linen scraps, lovely. Can I have that sash? And a red linen shirt that I can't fit. That's the second time. I tell you what I'll do. I'll get right back to you. We're going to put a couple of these on. We'll also get a stable master. There's a bowyer. That's even better, actually. We can see what they got. So, bowyer. You got a fine short bow, which is mm, kind of good. Or a laminate bow. Oh, that bow. That one's pretty decent, but I don't need a fine short bow. We'll get rid of that. We've got four scrolls. We don't need them. We don't need that. 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 No. That. Yes, we do need. No. 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 And no. 
and in all of our stuff. Let's see, old Marshall, there's your collector's ring. We will take the sparring gloves. Thank you. And a bag, thank God. So, next. Supervisor Raiden. There's your wood. And then we'll go back to this last. Sash, which is still better than what we got, and a nice cool shirt to go underneath it all. Awesome. Now, there is nothing else here. So, I wonder, we can either do this two ways. We can fly back to Goldshire, or we can walk back, go back via the Jasper Lode mine, and then back here, and then down here, then over to Westfall. Because if we look at the map here, we've got the Red Ridge Mountains, Westfall, which is the 10 to 15 area. We should realistically have leveled out of the place that we're in right now, uh, because we're level 11. But I think we're just finishing up with some of these quests, and then we'll move on. And I also really want to kill Holga. So if we go to Elwyn... Oh, God, Jesus. Westfall and to the Red Ridge Mountains. Where the hell is that? <laughs> I tell you what, yeah. What do we get for this? 850. That's the Westfall thing. That's the Stormwind thing. I don't think we're going to need that one. Uh, we don't really need to do anything but scout it, so I'm going to say no to that. We will go back to the vineyards because it's the main it is a silver to get there, but it sure beats walking. And that may seem quite stupid considering. So, I was trying to think of what kind of stuff we would want. to go through them at some point and write down which ones and pop them somewhere. But we'll get to it. The ones I remember off the top of my head would be water striders because they allow you to walk on water. Some of the stone hounds were sick. I absolutely love them. And these two quests are the ones we've just abandoned. Now, the stable master here is somebody else that we can talk to. Uh, stable my pet here. So we've got two right now. We've got the original wolf and we've got the wolf that overtook him. So if we take this guy and pop him over here, we can keep loads. So we're going to have plenty of them. We'll have one active and we'll have another one. So we have an... Oh, I see. I'm with you. So we can have more just uh, not yet. So let's go and uh, do some stuff here. If you guys watching this would like to see a specific kind of beast pet, do let me know which one you'd like. We can do it as... Um, a link to a specific pet or something like that. <laughs> but I know for um, some of these
is a Gerard Teller here who has a repeatable quest that we can hand in. If you have any and willing to make a trade. Oh, refreshing spring water. We sold some of that earlier. I apologise, but no water for you. There's a fucking well right there. There is a well right there. Okay, Maybell McLaughlin. Mabel's love letter to Tommy Joe Stonefield. Oh, piss, I remember this. He's over here on the opposite farm. <laughs> I mean, oh, such a charming and lovely story. Somewhere up here as well, if my memory is correct, is Hogger's camp. Now, Hogger... Well, he's the meanest, meanest little sausage that we ever did know. Oh, there's another hunter over there. So if we find him, we'll need to take him out. Oh, hello. Princess. That's a big one. A big ball. Hmm. Well, this is a good indication that we're nearby. Oh, there he is. Well, he might be over the river. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Okay, yeah, we'll take your love letter. Speak with Grammar Stonefield. We will. But first, we have a little unfinished business. Gruff Swiftbite is here. Not who we're after, but... Interesting, nonetheless. Oh, dear. Well, he went down like a sack of spuds. There we go, level 13. Boar hide trousers, which are better than what we got. We'll pop them on. Outrunner, we don't really need that. So the gnolls have taken up some kind of camp here, and that's fair, but I distinctly remember he's overlooking the river. And so, that's what we'll do. We'll try and find him. Try and find him. Yeah, this looks like the spot. This looks like the spot. And there he is, Hogger. He's a level 11 elite. Let's get him. He's going to be a bit of a challenge here, but. to the stockades and Ramath. There we go. We did in fact successfully take Hogger out. So let's go back here. We need to speak with Grammar Stonefield and then that's Furbrow's deed to Jansen, which is over here. I believe wait, that's not right. It's over Oh, no, he is over there. Okay, cool. That sets us up nicely. But the thing is, we're level 13 now. Is it worth us going to... Um, I, th I don't think it's worth us getting too invested into the story in Westfield, but... Um, you know, I think we kind of just skip it. <laughs> and 
that's the reason why. Look at that. Absolutely smashed it. I'm trying to think of all of the animals that are around in certain areas and which ones are going to be of interest to us. And I think I may have been looking at the wrong guides. The guides I should be looking for should be in relation to classic WoW, I think. Grandma Stonefield, there you are, lovely. Take the Stonefield's note to William Pestle. Uh, we also have Ma Stonefield. Kill Princess, grab her collar, and bring her back to... This seems to be a weird thing, but we'll get some cool boots out of it, so we'll do that. Kill here, then, Princess, you biggin. Go get her. Color. You see what I mean about feeling a little bit overpowered. <laughs> Let's see. There you go, Ma. Well Here's your collar and the boots, Take please. Time. Good doing business with you. All right. Let's see. Where was I supposed to go again? William Pestle now. Yeah, maybe uh, whilst I'm walking through, I'm going to be passively um, on my phone trying to look for guides that will help in terms of it. So just so I can keep her slightly more ahead of the game, because I've got a hotkey here that I set to auto walk, which, you know, my hands are not on the keyboard. They're wiggling in front of the microphone now. See, <laughs> sorry, that's one of my favorite areas of our triggers. I've got to do that. He's inside. Diets. Yeah, that's what they eat. Uh, there you go, William. There's the grandma's letter. Bring four crystal kelp fronds to you. And where would I find these crystal kelp fronds? Oh, right there. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, hmm, do I... F yeah, it's only... So the guides that I'm seeing here are going more into stats and uh, stuff like that. Mm, I don't really... <laughs> how do I say that? I'm not really giving that much of a shit about the, the stats of stuff. If it's a pet, I'm, you know, the, the reason I'm going for the hunter as a uh, Beastmaster is simply because it was my first ever one and I want that level of nostalgia as I play <laughs> not because I want the absolute you know best pet that can be you know I just want one that looks cool and that's what I'm after you know I've got to think about glyphs as well haven't we That was nice and easy. Back onto auto walk, <laughs> and we'll keep looking. So we've got the general wolves, which are chill. Training your hunter pet. No, because it doesn't do that from there, does it? No. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. for like the most rare obtainable ones. Oh. 
all rare pets with uncommon looks? I don't know. We'll find out. There's your crystal kelp from. This shouldn't take long. Okay. Query. No. Basilisks. No. Bats. There's fangor. Interesting. Blues. Bears. Hmm. That doesn't look bad, actually. Finish this little quest line. We've got Hogger, so I'm feeling good about that. And then uh, we make a little thing. So I have a couple here that look good. I think this was the right thing to go for. Unique pets or rare pets with unique looks. Beetles, birds of prey. Mm, I'm not even sure what that is. Boars, uh, carrion birds, I know that one, I know that one, cats, Lit Fang Lost, Hollow Fall, oh, I'm not too sure what that is, but it doesn't look like an animal we've seen before, Shadow Claw, Dust Stalker, Tabs, Scar, ah, Scar, I know. Scar, I know very well. Oh, have some fresh and whispering water. Yeah, sure. Because I don't need that shit. I've got a loose chain cloak. We'll pop that on. Runner's boots, we don't need that. To match with pants, we've got something better on already. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Mabel, look you. There you go. Five minor heat. Healing potions. She takes it and disappears. Wow. She's gone. She snuck out to be with her love. Past her father, probably. I don't fucking know. Right. That's that sorted. What we'll do now is we'll make our way to Westfall. Wait. Your pet's not dead. Well, where is he then? I'm here, sausage. There we go. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, so, the, uh, of the day of filming, uh, yesterday, I went to uh, my uh, folk nights at my... It's not my local boozer, but it's the one that I like. The people are nice and uh, welcoming. Uh... And I saw not one, not two, not three, but four dogs. Now, this is huge. <laughs> like, I, I, we don't often get dogs anywhere near us, like not in the venue or anything like that. But there was one dog in the venue. Uh, a type of spaniel, I can't remember what kind, but um, it was amazing. It liked eating beards, so it had a field day on mine. That's what. That's the only thing I remember, it was hyperactive, and it enjoyed eating beards. And then in the pub, at the, uh, the folk night, it, there were three there was one who was sitting on the chair at the bar like people would. Uh, there was also another two who came up. One who's a 15 year old dog and was very sweet and very, very old. Uh, and then there was this golden retriever, a Scottish golden retriever because their, par uh, their family, I guess, was... Uh, down on holiday to Cornwall, and I remember its name was Bruce, and you'd have to say it like that, otherwise he wouldn't listen to you, <laughs> so they, they found that uh, a lot of people who were, you know, talking 
talking to this dog, saying, no, hello, Bruce, it wouldn't react. If you said, hello, Bruce, it would react. <laughs> oh, old MacDonald. How are you? That was a long time ago. A very good battle, don't you? But you have, oh, your pet tamer. Do we have any pets? I think we do have some pets here. We've only got four. Two tiny snowmen. Uh, a Senegal parrot and a cockatiel. Of course, yes, from Booty Bay. Here's the Jansen stead. So we've got a couple of things here. There's Furball's deed. So that's for you. And then speak to the various homeless people occupying the Jansen stead to get the clues about the Furball murderers. Back on the crime scene alarm bots. So these guys are going to be either helpful or useless. chosen useless. No, I'm not going to give them money. Oh, I might have to give them money. But I can just kill the homeless around here. That seems like a... Well, I'm only getting three copper out of these guys anywhere. Okay, there's one. No, we don't need to. to you whilst we're waiting. Aha, uh -huh. there we go, we've reached level 14, which now we have Hunter's Mark and Disengage. Now Disengage is going to be very useful, Hunter's Mark is also going to be very useful. Arcane Shot, Chimera Shot, Kill Command and Explosive Shot automatically add it. So I'm going to pop that up there. Hunter's Mark will basically do a lot better. Check this out. There it is, Hunter's Mark, all attacks get 5% increased range damage. So it's going to be very useful. Very, very useful. Just killing all these hobos like it's bloody nothing. All we need are clues, but I'm too cheap. <laughs> Far too cheap to, uh, to pay them two costs. I didn't try and buy you. <laughs> there we go. You, sir. No, didn't think so. Lovely. Anything else? There we go. Lovely. We managed to get all our clues. We've killed enough homeless people today. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. There we go. So. I think when we hit level 15, we'll get out of here and we'll uh, make our way over to Red Ridge. So we've got Scene Investigator Wrap, which could be better than what we got. Oh, but I think we'll enjoy the that one first. Hot on the trail of Murlocs, recover the Murloc clue, and the Riverport clan. Re recover the Riverport Knoll clue. So, this should be easy. Let's get started. Out of all the places that I've done in WoW, Westfall is one that I've never really enjoyed. There have been others that I've enjoyed more, yes, but I always find this is like... Uh, the least interesting, but I recently, oh, that was it, I recently came across a video that explained that uh, Elwyn Forest, Westfall, and the Red Ridge Mountains have some of the most interesting and deep lore, uh, which is brilliant. Because of my dyslexia, it's hard for me to read the large chunks of text that come with the normal 
requests and it's something that I don't particularly follow very well. That's why I suck at the books as well. So I just skin it or I do what I do here, which is I read out what we need to do and uh, then go and do it. And if I get lost, I go through and read exactly what they say. I know there are some add-ons that you can get that changes this so it's read to you through like ChatGTP or something like that, but uh, I don't know. I don't think that will work too well for me. Hmm. Now let's see. over here. I'm just going to look through some of these chimeras, courses, I think courses are outside of our area. Magitar, it's outside of our area as well. So I've got to look at some of these and just go like is this something that's achievable for us in this? Because this is, I'm looking at these things before the leveling update. So some of these are not correct. <laughs> Molten Fungus. So I'm just, I'm going to go through, I'm going to get loads of them and look at them all. Design. Nice. Oh, we've got no space. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I hope someone here can... Uh, oh, there's a flight path. That's perfect. Someone here may be able to sell stuff to. Thank you. To Shudalu. Hello. Use the... Use to Shudalu. To Shudalu's old house at the back of the jackal -O. Uh, inventory's full. I see. I need something for it. Well, have you got anybody here? A lot of homeless here. Collect six coyote tails and five handfuls of fresh dirt for a Westfall mud pie, Mama Celeste. Interesting. Okay. You want us to kill twelve cobalt diggers? That's not a candle, that's a stick of dynamite. Okay. Um, I'm not really seeing anywhere that we can sell stuff, which is kind of annoying because we need to get rid of some stuff. But then again, do these guys seem like the kind of people who would be buying anything? Um, hmm. Let's see. We could do this two ways, from what I can tell. There's a pair of floating boots. Okay, sure. If we fly to... You are kidding me. Okay. Alright. So we can't fly. We'd probably have to walk all the way back. Or we can go through these and delete some stuff. Anything below 10 copper get rid of. It does seem like an awful shame, but you got the lesser healing potions and the minor healing potions. 160. Oh no, I got them the wrong way around. Okay. Runner's boots. Don't need them. Chunks of poor meat. Don't need that. Mackerel. Don't need that. Seashell. One shiny red apple. Fuck off. A wine stained cloak. Don't need that. Scroll of spirit. We, I just gave the Bloody, he's, oh Jesus, well, it doesn't really matter. Murloc fins, don't need that. Don't need that. Small barnacle, oh, open the pearl, or get a pearl, that's good. Rough vulture feathers, don't need that. Loose chain cloak, probably won't need.
need that. Ragged leather gloves, we don't need them. Worn leather pants, it's 26, so it's better. So we'll, we'll get a bit more picky when we need to later on. Right, two shoot loo. Right, let's get this stuff. So we've got the coyotes over here. Notice how they share the exact same model. <laughs> Anything with Hunter's Mark on, we basically uh, increase the range damage of all attacks against the target by 5%. The target can always be seen and tracked. Uh, the fact that um, we automatically pop it on as well is super helpful. Because um, I could just do that. And then anything else that we do gains 5% five incre five increased range damage, which is huge. It's just simple. It just makes everything so very simple. I think the difference in uh, between the druid and this is it's instant. You know, starfire and moonfire were instant, but they did little damage, um, if if any major damage at all. And then you know, by the time we do it here, they're all. We can use steady shot as well if we wanted to get a bit of our focus back, but because we're just finishing up on the quest, it's not something we particularly need. Oh, look at the tiny harvest. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that sorted for Mama Celeste. We'll hand that in whilst we're here. And we get some Westfall mud pie. Now, where was it? Use the old house at the back of the jungle oak mine. We've got to get to the mine first. And how, pray tell, will we get to the mine? If I do this, there's no easy way for it. Okay, we're apparently there. That got us over the line. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, we have scatter shot now, which is a burst that disorients. So we'll keep that there. Talents. I haven't thought about these. Your disengage frees you from all movement impairing effects and increases your movement speed by 60% for 8 seconds. Narrow escape. When you disengage, you also activate a web trap, which encases all targets within eight yards in sticky webs, preventing movement for eight seconds. Or reduces the cooldown of disengage by ten seconds and the cooldown of deterrence by sixty seconds. Now deterrence. I don't think we have deterrence yet. We won't have it for a while. Uh, Oh, it might be a beast. Oh, that is a beast. Okay. Now let's try this. Uh, specific beast mastery is done. Battery low. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for letting me know that the battery is low in the headset. Oh, god damn it. Deterrent. Hmm. Not seeing it. That's okay. That's all right. Well, we're probably not going to go for that one then. It's got to be between how much movement we want to do versus if we want to stop people from getting to us. Uh, and we do have every man for himself. For now, I'll go post haste. We can always twitch it up later on. So. Now disengage becomes quite useful, and with this actually, I've just thought, we can get out of here and make our way over to Red Ridge Mountains. I think we'll do that now whilst we can. I must remember to edit out the uh, very loud battery low thing that pops up with the headset. This is the only thing I don't like about this headset. But every once in a while, if you do uh, you do 
do have a low battery and will just absolutely scream it at you. It's a real shame. But not entirely stupid. Um, the cool thing about disengage as well is it's off cooldown after 20 seconds. We can just gun it. Really run every single time. So we don't really need any of these. We'll abandon that. We'll, well uh, something that's too short, is it? Yeah, we will abandon that. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Traveling salesman. Looking for something specific? Bear braces, no crystal vial, bruise weed while still alone. We could buy less a healing potion, you know what? Not a bad idea, we'll take a couple of them. And the rest of this we will sell. Because we don't really need it. There we go. Cool. Let me guess this wanted poster is gonna ask for Hogger. chest. Oh, it is 30 armor. Oh, go on. Well, we've already dealt with him once, but we know where he is and we can do it again. Plus, we've got to disengage to get us out of this if we need to. And plus, he went down like a sack of spuds first time. Like, I honestly thought that Hogger, an elite, would put up more of a fight. But maybe we're just that good. I think we might just be that good. There he is, look. The problem I have is I use all of my focus far too quickly. situation. There you go. Cool. Let's make our way back. See now these guys at level 9 aren't worth anything for us really. We'll make our way to Goldshire. See if we can fly to the Eastvale locking camp. And make our way over. Oh, you really don't need to fight this, but you piss me off, so. <laughs> Take that. That's why I took this stuff. <laughs> up as well if we wanted to. We shouldn't. Um, because it's, you know, the wolf is a ferocity. Um, animal. A 3v3 rear. Okay, cool. See what I mean? Useless. But we got another scroll of spirit out of I'm going to have to sit down and do some proper research into what I'd want. Um, uh, yeah, sure. We can, there's so much choice. I'll have to go through and I'll narrow it down. I'll bring it up in the next one. I'll write it down somewhere on my, uh, my pen and paper. So for this one, we're getting the chest, right? And uh, we've already sold most of our stuff. We'll take 
the scroll of intellect and we'll pop it on as well whilst we can and we'll do it to ourselves this time there you go wanted hogger we'll take that boom fuck you jasper won't mind <sighs> should we run uh, oh, i can't could i use him again to uh what can i do for you no i can't shame It's unfortunate for him. Oh well. Yeah, we'll make our way over here and then... Well, we'll see what happens. We will have to see what happens. He's level 20 to 30, but that's Shula's our base, and that's 76, 78, but Terrapin's going to be there. Feather Mantles, they don't look like something we can get. Foxes, well, should be able to get rid of that onto the Bastion. Hoppers and Toads. Island Expeditions aren't a thing in this. Right. Oh, a little pug called Mr. Wolfles. How adorable. Hounds. How are you? Uh, no. I'm still thinking about it, but we need to save all of our money for the flight. Because, you know, we should have got rid of Gloves Horns. Hydra. Lesser Dragon King. Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. Now that... That's something we could do. But... I bet we'd need a special thing to be able to have us do that. I know we can't get any mechanicals either. I remember the post I saw for Petopia about what pets you can now get, but because there's no easy way to find out what, what we can get and what we can't get, it's all like... It's all going to just be research. So that's all right, we'll research. I'll do some research. Uh, but for the most part, I've got quite a few in mind. Uh, some old school ones will be found at Hygel. Uh, uh, Loke Nahak say before Loki Nahak was the one that I never managed to get never ever managed to get and that's one I've always wanted to go for oh no tell a lie I did I did I did manage to get it in fact I managed to get two um, it was just in you know regular I just spent ages looking for it kill any 15 Red Ridge Knolls in the three cold regions of the Red Ridge Mountains we'll get a cloak which is better than what we got Darcy Parker. Hello. Collect four tarantula eyes, four condor giblets, and four gore tusk kidneys. That's so weird and specific. Okay, anything else around here? I swear there is. Yes, he'll be upstairs, won't he? Let's get him. Okay. Lasted the entire stairs. That's decent. Watch Captain Parker. Steal the Knoll battle plans, Knoll orders, and Knoll strategy guide. We'll get another cloak, or some better boots, and a bag. Decent. All right, let's try this. This is going to seem insane, but it negated all fall damage. There, can we get that? 
It is tameable. Yeah, it is tameable. We just got to remember that these uh, animals that we are trying to tame need to be the same level or below. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this fox is obviously staying. And the wolf is obviously staying. You just saw him floating in the air like Jeebus. I think what we'll do is we will um, we'll do this uh, these these quests and then we'll call it for the evening. I need to get to start on editing. Uh, there's a couple of these knolls. We can get some of them. some of these potions on my uh, hot bar here. Yeah. Just so they are being used when they need to be. Got to remember to get all this linen cloth as well. I'm sure we can get more linen cloth with professions and things like that, but... worth a go. A lollipop. What about a lollipop? Do you want a lollipop sausage? No. Okay. Uh, you could take the tough contour meat. Yeah, you could. You're right there. Now. There we go. Nice job. All right. There's the knoll battle plans, I think. region. Fire wand. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. One camp has this, another camp has this, another camp has this. Gotcha. Let's make our way there faster if we can. Here's a thing I've always wondered. For things like hearts, I can understand you only need like one of, but surely like basic biology will say there's two kidneys in there that you can harvest. 
quite easily. Why are we only allowed to get one? Like, is there what's what's actively stopping us from getting more than one kidney? Okay, we've killed all the gnolls that we need. So if you take this guy, I'm still about. close as we can. I uh, don't need that, but it's oh, it's good though. Okay, right. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need the lollipop. Okay. Take both of them. There we go. Perfect. Just what we need. Piggy needs to come to us. Ribs don't need no. Mm. Ah, that's better than what we got. All right, let's get rid of the spider ica for it. I'm trying to grab as much important stuff. Anything else? Uh, no. Chunks of boar meat. Gortux. Liver. We've handed them in. We should be good. Obviously, we're looking to the skies for that. Come on. Oh, no. Did he die? Yes, he did. That's okay. Revive him. Run away. Oh, jeez. begins again the death tally sparrow has died once well technically twice but because he's based after a larp character i can't use him in that so it's only the once he's died once the larp character died in a way that was so cool that he got to name the way he died and it was called sparrow fall I still have a copy of it somewhere around here. It's one of my greatest achievements. <laughs> okay, let's get the stuff before it despawns. This Red Ridge Fox shouldn't have uh, gone after me. The inventory's full. 240. That's better than that. Mm, it's called milk. We don't know where that's come from. Condor stuff. We don't need either of them. to try and dedicate him to, to him. Check all, nothing else in there that we need. Uh, we need one more, I think. We don't need the crunchy spider eggs. Or the flimsy bit. Thing 
things here. What I'll do is I'll hang this in at the top or the bottom here and then I'll make my way to the top. Here's your stuff, you crazy person. Oh hellfire, we've hit level 16. We get to mend the pet as opposed to feed the pet. An eagle eye, which I've always found to be slightly useless but keep on the hot bar anyway. We also have the Shadowfang Keep. Parker, here's your stuff. We will take the cloak. What do you want? Fifty quests completed. That's fantastic. And there's all your battle plans. So we'll take the boots and another bag. Deliver Parker's report to Magistrate Solomon in Lakeshire in Redridge, and that is something we'll be doing next time. such fun with this already, aren't we? We'll take the boots. We will pop the cloak on. I'm just going to go through everything else and make sure we don't have anything else that we can pop on. No. Lots of linen cloth so we can go out and sell that at some point. And we're starting to get wool cloth as well. Even better. Right. That's everything I've got for you today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.